Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Ukrainians reported that last night they blew up two Russian vessels, two landing ships in the Crimean Peninsula on the western coast of the Crimean Peninsula. I have a video provided by the Ukrainians that we're going to watch here. Um, very sketchy, but hey, we um, at one point it really shows one of those boats being approached and some explosions. So uh, I have one, two, three, about three um, articles here ready. Obviously, we're not going to cover all of them. We're just going to um, discuss um, the title and maybe one or two paragraphs. So let's get going. The first article comes from obviously. Ukrainska Pravda, and it's from Friday, the 10th of November, 2023. Ukraine's defense intelligence posts video of attack on Russian boats in Chornomorsk, Crimea. And this is a picture of the videos that the video we will uh, view. Uh, Ukraine's defense intelligence says officially confirmed that a special operation in Russian occupied Crimea overnight led to the destruction of Serna class landing craft carrying crew and armored vehicles and has posted a video. Now that boat looks like this. So this is the landing ship or boat that uh, it looks like a little tub over there. Armored vehicle. I think that's how you want to call that one. And uh, a few military personnel on it. So this two of these guys, they blew up supposedly. So let's go to the next article uh, from the Kiev Independent. Ukraine hits two light Russian landing crafts in Crimea. And somewhere here, let me see if this is on the third one, they show you where they did it. On this point right here, I'm going to show you another map. So this is just an introduction. Again, two Russian boats damaged in Chernomorsk, Crimea. So let me show you the big map here. So here is where the Ukrainians attacked in this area, Chernomorskaya, right here in this tip. If you remember, the Ukrainians claimed that they uh, landed here and placed a two foot by one foot uh, Ukrainian flag on an uh, unidentified wall of a house. But hey, let's watch the video. Here it is. Um, the Well, let's go and get and see how it works. Let me get make sure I got this one right ready set and go oh, we got Dracula coming first there you have as an owl or something You can tell that's a lie, and I will tell you why. Because, uh, I'm not saying a lie, but the sound is a lie. Because you, you can hear the engine, but you hear the birds. Chirp, 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 chirp. That's impossible. You hear the, the, the boat's engine before you hear that little bird in front of the camera. But hey, they think we're tards, and some of them are. Let me show you again. With this Dracula thing. this is but and then they're gonna show us a very clear picture at the end of the video very interesting but this video is different than the other ones you see how it is this video is a, a, a <laughs> I'm gonna play it again I don't know why these guys need to do this so the first videos taken from uh, these little boats are very sketchy, very unclear, not clear, blurry. And then from the far, there's another boat because that's going to be moving if you're going to see, if you're going to pay attention. Uh, it's gonna, and you did pay attention. You're going to see it's moving, but it's a different footage, different quality. <laughs> Why is that? Well, let, let's uh, watch that again. 
uh, let's watch Dracula first. Let's watch him first. There you go. And look how sketchy this is, including the bird's sound. Now you can see the boat over there. That's the boat over there. Clearly you can see the boat. See how sketchy it is? Not clear. I mean, the, it's different quality. And that's definitely a boat right there. It's approaching. Boom. Not very clear. Again, this is from far away, not clear. Okay. First footage. And very far from the. Maybe not, but. Blurry. You see how the waves and the background. Right, and now they're gonna attack this one. Bam, bam. Clear. Boom. Okay. And now this is footage. Uh, so look at the quality. Of the, of the smoke, you can see the quality of the smoke. Not this one, compared with this one. This is like a regular night video. Now, I don't know, uh, and I don't want to imply here too much, because I... But just, uh, that's an observation, that's a real, uh, empirical observation, let's put it this way, of what you see. One is blurry, and the other one is not blurry on the same area. Why is that? Do you think they have different cameras, one from the boats and from the, from the other boats? Because at the last, the one that was, uh, was uh, uh, videotaping the, the damage, I guess, it was very clear and it was a boat moving in. Clo it was not like from, I don't know, 50 miles away with the binoculars or with some uh, big lenses or from the satellite to say it's a different quality. It's the same shit. Now, I don't think they have a different kind of quality for the guys attacking versus the guys that are just uh, looking from another boat in the area because there were more than one boats obviously involved in this one just just an observation okay and i would ask my uh, ukrainian friends why is that i mean you're not going to disclose a state secret here tell me why when well, they didn't have it they didn't match it the communication was different the wavelengths the what was it it was so ooh but clearly there's two and both boats that hit the target had the same, I don't know, uh, 1980s uh, um, computer uh, game kind of quality. If you remember those ones, ping, pong, 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 ping, the same kind of. And then the last one is a regular footage, like regular camera. You can see the smoke clearly, the fire, different quality. All right, nevertheless, that would not change the fact that uh that was uh, destroyed uh those those allegedly were destroyed draw, destroyed so um let me just go back here and see is the same thing here all right the ukrainian strike on occupied crimea overnight two high-speed landing craft the ukrainian military intelligence spokesperson confirmed they published the video attacks showing camera footage of what appears to be a surface drone ramming into the Russian vessels, plural. The damaged vessels, the damaged vessels were Serna class boats carrying crew and armored vehicles. Pop, pop, pop. I showed you this one right here. So we got that one. This is where it occurred. And boats of this model have been used by Russian forces to carry equipment and troops to the, the then occupied Smi Smini Snake Island, the military intelligence noted a small landing ship of Serna class high speed can accommodate up to 45 tons of cargo and 92 armed landing troops, intelligence wrote on Telegram. The vessels can also be equipped with Tor M2 air defenses and provide vital protection to the rest of the Russian Black Sea fleet amid escalating Ukrainian attacks. So where is this uh, Snake Island? I'm going to show you. Used to be Romanian, but Romanians said it was not important, so they uh, gave it uh, and didn't ask it back. It's right here. So this is the Romanian territory. This is the Black uh, Bl Black Sea. This is the Danube River flowing with three big arms. One, two, three. Here is this little piece of thing right there. If you can see it, this is where it's at. So by Romania, and somehow that belongs because Romanians said it's not important. Why do we want that? Not strategically important, but somehow. The Russians and Ukrainians are willing to fight like crazy for it. Unimportant, right, Romanians? Now, those were traitors who said that, uh, especially if they were uh, military and, um, how do you call it, uh, politicians. And uh, for treason, people should be punished because you can say something that obviously is not true and try to fool uh, the entire nation, which they tried. And the mass media was complicit to that. 
they just uh, parroted the, the, the thing without. Some of them uh, pushed back. There were some politicians who pushed back at this. But anyway, it's not about the Snake Island. The fact is, some explosions occurred over there. I don't know where. The Ukrainians say in the Crimean over there. Two boats, landing boats, Russian landing boats, were blown up by drones. The footage is over there. Now it's up to you to um, revisit uh, the video videos and make sense of what's going on over there. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What's strange, let me put another, another thing here. What's strange is that we are on the 20, what, 21st century and the Ukrainians uh, have, and the Americans, because those cameras were not made in uh, Ukraine. Okay, those were provide high tech from other guys. Now you say, well, it's just for one. Why would you want the high tech? So you uh, avoid skeptics like me and others to point out that, hey, that's a garbage uh, uh, footage, my friends. In the 21st century, you provide with that kind of garbage footage. Why is that? You didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to reveal anything. You didn't reveal your uh, boat, nothing. You could have put a regular camera on all that and would have provided better footage. So I think that was, uh, I would uh, claim that that could be uh, like that for a reason. So they thought, hey, we put this garbage instead of putting a good one. Not that they didn't have it. I mean, after all, they have uh, missiles and air defense systems and airplanes of uh, hundreds of, uh, let's put it, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars. Already 200 given by the European Union and the United States of America. So I think they could afford a, what, $50 camera or $100 camera. That will be blown up. Remember, money is not an issue over there. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.